obviously it's not a road anybody wants to walk down. It was supposed to be a trip of the lifetime, but a local family now fights themselves, finds themselves stuck in a nightmare. That's our top story this Wednesday night. Thanks for staying up. I'm Nicole Livas. And I'm David Allen. That family from Suffolk was on their way home from Alaska, but something happened on their layover in Denver. The parents thought their 16 year old was just sick. It quickly turned into something bigger. Tonight, the family's fight is just beginning. Janu Her starts us off. Tonight. It started out as a happy family vacation last week for the Thomas family from Suffolk, all eight having a blast on an Alaskan cruise. But on their way back to Virginia during a layover in Denver, their oldest son, 16 year old Marshall, got sick. It's like walking in a fog, you know, like just one foot in front of the other. Nick and Melissa Thomas say before they left Virginia, Marshall wasn't feeling well, but he was diagnosed with mono, given antibiotics, and felt good enough to go. But when he wasn't feeling well in Denver, he was taken to the hospital where the family found out the heartbreaking news. Another three and a half, four hour trip to Virginia would be too long right. for him to sit there. So when we got here, we found out that it was leukemia. Since the family shared that news, people from all over stepped up to help the family. He's only, look at him, all the way in the back, never in the front. Including family friend Amber Joyner from Chesapeake. It was just devastating. It was a complete shock. Amber says her son and Marshall play for the same football team. So like many others, pitching in to help, so did the team. The Beach Breakers coming together to make these shirts with proceeds going to the Thomas family. And we've already got, um, I think, like 26 shirts already sent out to people. We're going to be able to wear them to the game. Amber says even far away, the Thomas family has support from their hometown. And even though doctors are keeping Marshall there for a month, these friends will make them feel right at home when they get back. It's hard. My first inclination was to want to get on a plane to go see them, but I think we've got a really good support system of people who are willing to help even from far away and people that don't even know them. So Chinu, what else can people do to help? Well, of course, they're looking for a place to stay, but just moments ago, I found out that uh, it seems like they might have found a place to stay, so that's good news. That's progress right. for them. But yeah. uh, secondly, of course, uh, you can still donate to help the family. Again, they'll be there for about a month, so any donations would help, and we have uh, the information on our website, 13 News Now, about how you can help.